All right. Just for a mic check, can I get you to say and spell your name? Check uh, Daniel Weisensel, W-E-I-S-E-N-S-E-L. And you can look right at me like we're having a okay. regular conversation. Sure. And what's your title? Um, D Deputy Sheriff, School Resource Officer for the county. So um, what happened with this dog attack? Well, it's my understanding that an 11-year-old female and her two-year-old brother uh, were in the community of uh, Bowler, the village of Bowler, and the dog um, had gotten away from its residence, um, started to approach the two-year-old, uh, at which time the 11-year-old was able to distract the dog, uh, Pitbull as it was, uh, away from the two-year-old, um, and basically put herself in between her and her brother to avoid uh, uh, the little one from getting hurt. How would you describe her actions? Well, obviously heroic. I mean, um, to be able to a think that quick, uh, and to uh, you know immediately you know put her her brother you know in, in a safe safe position and, and put herself in jeopardy. I said, you know, that's 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 unusual. Um, how? Uh, where in Bowler did this happen? Um, I, I want to believe on Main Street, Bowler, somewhere. Uh, is, you got to understand, Bowler is a quite small community, um, so I believe it happened right down on one of the main uh, thoroughfares. You don't have the exact address. Though? I do not know, okay. not at this time. Um, when did this happen? I believe it was this last Saturday. Uh, oh. The twelfth uh, would have been August twelfth. And uh, do you know about what time in the day it happened? Uh, I do not. I want to say in the afternoon, uh, uh, without checking the report, but. So when you get a call like this, what what's the procedure? Well, you know, the, the, unfortunately, the dog has bitten before, um, and uh, it's owner's responsibility uh, to to maintain that dog and to maintain and to secure the dog that it's not running at large. Um, and it currently was under a quarantine from a previous bite. Again, uh, you know, the owner uh, is 100% responsible for that dog, whether they're home or not and uh, could possibly face um, charges uh, criminally, uh, which uh, it is under investigation, and the paperwork will eventually get to the district attorney's office. Um, so is this sort of a cautionary tale for dog owners or for even just for people who are walking down the street and seeing a stray dog? Well, I, I would say, you know, it's not just dog, it's, it's cats. I mean, uh, you know, unfortunately in our society, sometimes pets become very disposable and uh, left behind. Um, not knowing where they belong or where they should go, uh, and they, they wind up in a community or they wind up in unfamiliar uh, territory, and um, by nature, a pet will, you know, uh, sometimes defend itself or, or, you know, try to approach other people. But, you know, the obvious, yeah, if you don't, if you don't know a dog or cat uh, or a, a animal of other species, uh, yeah, you, you, have to, you have to be somewhat cautious. Um, so do you think this little girl possibly saved the two-year-old's life? Well, you know, I mean, when you look at the size of the dog ratio compared to a two-year-old, uh, have two-year-olds uh, lost their life uh, due to a pet bite or a multiple pet bite? Yes, they have. Um, so we would hate to think about the, you know, the, the, the ultimate outcome of, of, you know, someone or a small child losing their life, but uh, the possibility is always there. Is there anything else about this I'm not asking that you'd like to add? You know, just uh, you know, you have to remember when you take on a pet, it's your responsibility. Uh, you could face uh, civil and both criminal uh, proceedings in court. And uh, uh, animal cases are becoming more and more prevalent because of the amount of uh, uh, animal owners that fail or are neglectful in, in containing their their pets. Um, how long do you think it'll take for the paperwork to get through as far as charges go against the uh, the pet owner? Well, you know, traditionally something like this, you know, we, we have to get the medical reports uh, from the little girl and, and uh, you know, take our time with the investigation and, and make sure that it's everything that the district attorney needs to move forward, if he's going to move forward. Um, and so we'll let him make that decision uh, typically a week to two weeks. Perfect. Anything else you'd like to add? Not at this time. Great to meet you.